How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Blue Shift, and welcome back to Legends of Heroes Trails in the Sky, where uh, we were able to go and do a lot of interesting uh, questing up in the north, where we went to the mine. There was a collapse, and a lot of monsters came out, and I and it looked like one of the miners was, like, he was the newest miner, and he talked about having to make a report of some kind, so, like, he definitely was there for ulterior motives. I was suspecting that perhaps... There is a force from the Empire that's been tunneling toward uh, this nation. If they want to do a preemptive invasion, it would be a really good way to sneak in. Uh, but I have no idea, obviously. I just was throwing it out there. We came back to town, turned in some of our quests, and got a couple new ones. And I also just, I think, upgraded our gear. And so I'll double check that, and then I'm going to go through the routine of going and talking to everyone in town and uh, kind of starting to quest for one for one um we're gonna go look for the cat we finally got that quest so that'll be one of one to start but yeah we'll just kind of keep going just follow the path as it leads and see where the story takes us so i appreciate you all coming here thank you for supporting this series i'm really excited to continue it and uh to be able to just do more so thank you so much and uh let's see what adventures we get up to today ah uh, yes orbals we definitely want to do this one talk Seems there's a large piece of septum discovered in a local uh, uh, new uh, in a new load at the mine. Something like that's going to be rather pricey, but it seems the like is already up, has a buyer. I wonder who bought it. Oh, that's all. I just saw the mayor. He was all fidgety. He's always been like that ever since before he was elected mayor. A mayor is a type of person who really needs to sink their teeth into a job. Okay. Who's this? Girl with glasses. She has a picture, so she's... One of the chances she's going to become important to the plot. Wow, how cute is this? Alright. Now let's try and upgrade... Slots. I think it's Josh's turn. Oh, wow. Dang, that's impressive that we can open that many. That's cool. Now, you guys said that similar orbs stack. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I don't think I would have got this if I didn't have both of these wind or like these all three of these wind orbs. But now I have Ariel, which is an area attack. Powerful tornado with whirling bits of rubber. Or rubble, not rubber. <laughs> That's cool. That's good to know. Okay, thank you for that bit of advice. So yeah, that puts us in a good spot. Now I have my area of effect. I finally was I was like crying for last time. Well, not crying, but like wishing for. Today I'm going to stay with my papa and help me with some things around the house. My papa's so happy when I stay with him. I bet he is. Oh, I wanted that Esmail's found in the mind of our own private collection. I wonder who it was that managed to purchase it before me. Miss Mar uh, Murano, we had better get back to Bowles or we'll miss our next business meeting. I'm sure the mayor is waiting to hear our report as well. The other day, Shahrazad came for a drink and, well, she was just unbelievable as you said, Estelle. I don't even dare say what she did. Jeez. I think we already talked to her about that, though. Oh, man. I'm starving. Okay, he's got a picture, too. Alright, time to talk about the cat. What am I ever to do? I hope those bracers will show up sometime soon. Did you hear- did I hear you say you were looking for a couple of bracers? Yes, that's right. Does this mean that you are that you are they? It sure does. Even that handsome young man too? That's right, myself included. Well, well, what a pleasant surprise this is. There certainly seem to be a lot of people with the name Bracer these days. Huh? Does this mean that you are brother and sister or something like that? You know, that's gotta be it. When people have the same name, it usually means they're family. Well, I guess it's kind of how it is for us. Estelle thinks this lady has no idea what Bracers are. She seems to have mistaken the word Bracer for somebody's name. You can't be serious. Can I ask what the two of you are whispering about to each other? It'll be a pain to explain all this to her, so let's just go along with what she says. I'll try. 
You seem to be troubled over something, ma'am? My goodness, for such a cute little dumpling, you catch on quick. I don't like where this is going. Young boys are so considerate. I really don't like where this is going. <laughs> hey, you really distressed, or are you just trying to flirt with someone who's way too young for you? Oh, that's right. I am, I am, I am so distressed. My little Arya hasn't come home. I guess I carelessly dozed off here at the cafe and she vanished. Who is this Ariel exactly? My little kitten. She's so snuggly wuggly. I want to find my dad. It's not just her face is so cute, it's her personality as well. What's the color of your kitten's fur? Uh, let me think for a moment. Maybe it's like the color of the evening sun and the autumn shining down upon the wheat of, field of wheat. So it's tannish. I think she's just out running around somewhere, so if I find her, please bring her back. Understood. We'll start by looking for her outdoors. If we find her, we'll come back and report to you. I'll be waiting right here for you. Good luck, Mr. and Mrs. Bracer. Okay, so tan cat likely running around outside. I'm guessing it's not out town outside, but, you know, we'll get there when we get there. We also have the mission to go down and get some herbs. So I'll have to try and do that at some point. Where the heck is this cat? Whoa, what? What did I stumble into here? There it is! Look! Oh, fetch. Joshua, that cat? It looks like the one the lady was looking for. I'm certain that was the one. We better hurry and catch it. Alright. This is gonna be a little game of cat and mouse where I have to, like, track it down and corner it because it's gonna, like, constantly flee. Because, like, I feel like... Is there a way I can, like, zoom in and out? I feel like I need to see a bit higher up if I'm going to be able to catch this thing. We learned about the Bracers Guild at Sunday School the other day. Bracers are so cool. I wish I could grow up now. I'd become a Bracer and be so successful. It must really suck if you get passed up by the likes of Estelle, but I guess that's life. I'm glad, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed that Estelle didn't have a response to that. All right, so where'd this cat go? See, part of me is wondering if I'm like chasing it around. Nope, there it is. Look, there's the cat again. Get back here. It's just like the back of the pretzel farm. Seems like we're doing a lot of chasing these days. Yeah, apparently you guys said that, like, normally that game, like, the mini game of chasing the the stuff on the farm is, like, a lot more intensive and, like, repetitive. So maybe I just got really lucky because I just kind of walked right into them. God, it's, it's making my... The camera's making me feel drunk. There's the cat again! Still, wait a minute. Maybe that kitten's trying to... Oh, no, it's getting away! It went there to the chapel. Let's hurry and catch it. Here we go again. Toward the chapel or behind the chapel? Hey, it's in the chapel. There's nowhere left to run, little kitty. Time to be caught. Uh, uh. What was all the talking? The place is supposed to be a house of prayer. Hmm? Something I can help you with. Something which appeared to be an animal right that way. I could have sworn something just went up those stairs. I wonder if it was just my imagination. Nope, sister, it was not. It's gonna jump, isn't it? Be a good kitty and surrender. Stay right there like that, and. Aww. Estelle, don't corner her like that. What do you intend to tell her the owner if she takes a dive off the terrace? I know that! That's not like there's any other way to catch her. Come on, Ariel. That's the right, this way. I'm sorry the big bad Estelle scared you like that. 
Jerk. Come on, let's go back and see your honor. Aww. Yeah. That's a good girl, Ariel. You go, let's, all right, let's go. Your honor's waiting for you. And that pretty much everything that happened. I'm pretty sure that Ar uh, Ariel is Ariel is on her way to become uh, back to see you from the beginning. Each time we saw her, she'd been walking toward the cafe. Now that you mention it, that does seem like what happened. There's a chance that's because of us. She ended up coming back this late. Oh, don't be silly. You two bought her back safe and sound. I'm really grateful to the both of you. But especially you, Mr. Bracer. You were just the cat's meow. Uh, I'll take that as a compliment. You're blushing, Joshua. I'd sure like to put a collar on you, then you'd be per perfect. Bad touch! Stranger danger! I apologize, but we're gonna need to get back a report to the guild. Have a nice day! See you later! Oh yes, I hope I'll be seeing a lot more of Mr. Bracer. Lost kitten completed. Oh, what'd she say? Let me see. Um, moon sharks, on us, those rats. Okay, so she's just repeating that. It seems you were the ones that took my husband's request, are you not? The two of you are doing a wonderful job being so young. Even if Cassius is away, we got the two of you around. Roland has nothing to worry about. Oh, that's loaded words. I have a feeling that things are definitely about to happen. Or maybe some, there's going to be a heist to steal that that really expensive jewel. That could be interesting. Like, it wouldn't be, like, destruction of the town level, but it could still be very decisive and maybe, like, send us on a major quest of some kind. Because, like, the pictured people I've been seeing around, like, I kind of just assumed they were going to start becoming, like, party members. But what if they're actually going to be just major players in a coming upcoming chain of quests? You know, like, what if there's a team of people scouting out the city, learning about it, finding a score, and then they're going to try and break into the safe and steal that super se uh, septium. That would be interesting indeed. All right. Uh, let's take a look at this. The last kitten needs to be returned it, turned in. The highway. A powerful monster. That's difficulty medium. We should probably do that next. An Ali's Highway. And then uh, the Liberal Media. There's a request from Liberal Media News to report a list of assistance getting coverage for a news story. You seem to be looking for a skilled guide. Please see the client directly for their job at the hotel. Okay, that's the big one. But let's try to do these side quests real quick because I like doing... I want to get them out of the way. So we know we have to head for, down to get the... Um, the uh, flower called Bear Claw. Um, and then Ellie's uh, Eli's Highway. So let's see if I can find that. Okay, so that extent. Oh, whoa, I didn't know the map did this. Oh, that's handy. Like, because it starts at the top right corner. I didn't know we could, like, go down to that corner. That's cool. Alright, so I just gotta find the Elias Highway. Uh, I'm gonna head back towards home and see if it's that way. Elias Highway, okay. So, the quest said that it is uh, Rhino, Rhino Cider has been spotted roving the Elias Highway. So, just somewhere along this path. We are gonna save because I don't want to redo all of that for some reason. Okay, I kinda wanna try it because I wanna see what it looks like. Holy crap, that area is really pretty gnarly. Pretty big, actually. I wonder, can you hit, like, yourself? <laughs> Let's see. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Well, it didn't critical. It was a critical, but still. Jeez. That's really cool. Now, the battlefield's not going to be easy to set up to make 
for big plays with that, but that's it's good to know how it works, which is the big reason why I decided to give it a try. Ah, oh, okay. Here he is. Definitely not going to be able to miss him. Bring it on, big boy! Exterminate! Dude, this guy looks mean. Actually, no. Let's uh, let's 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 buff ourselves first. Still doesn't let me do that. Come on. Sucks though, cause he's gonna get. Oh yeah, that's freaking awesome. Increase speed, strength boosted, and he gets to go again right away. Dual strike. Are you serious? I didn't know that could miss. Oh, that's juicy. There we go. He's got good defense, though. I need to heal because, uh... Like, uh, one other hit and I'm... And, and I'm just dead. We're good to go. Oh, we learned the recipe for it too. That's good. Let's dual strike it again. Oh, the strength wore off. That stinks. Oh well. Okay. He took that like a champ. And we get a crit. Airstrike. Yeah! Boom! Piece of cake. Yep, level up. And Estelle learned Hurricane. Lucky Fang. Sweet. Now let's go uh, exterminate monster under the highway. Now we're going to go back home and heal up and then go back out into the forest. We're going to try and find that uh, that flower for the, uh, for the priest. All right. Ah, this... Looks like it. Beware of monsters and the mist world. Okay, so let's double check what it said here. Bear claw, native to the forest. Okay, so I just gotta look for a flower in here. Oh, fetch! You scared me. Oh, is this the actual forest? Like, it might just be the forest here. Like, I thought it might be another load area, but this is actually starting to look a lot like a forest. Oh, no, here we go. Okay. Now, this is where it's good to get interesting. Oh, there's no map. That's fun. So this is going to be a place you could actually get lost in. All right, you big B. That's like I, I get shivers just looking at that thing. I hate like wasps. Ugh, not like you. Pretty tough. Oh man, their evasion must be high. Resist. Resist. Maybe I wonder if they're getting giving status effects, but I have like gems that are like help from it. So maybe like I made a wise choice there. All right, Estelle, come on, hit it, so we can get the the increased stuff. Yes, thank you. That was definitely some good and uh okay so i want to go over that real quick so the equipment yeah, yeah yeah so i got a white bracelet and a silver earring so we're protected from poison and blindness and uh and this prevents poison and sleep yeah so they must be trying to poison us but we're resisting it because of the silver earrings oh what a good purchase i i literally got that on a whim Oh, 
Oh, come on. Just let me have this flower. How deep do these woods go? Oh, can't rotate. That's something. Ooh, a big tree. You're kidding me. I get to this giant tree in the woods. That I, like, it's obviously an important marker. And the flower is not here. Oh, no. <sighs> okay. Well, that's... That's just... That's just great. So, what did I do wrong? Did I pass it? Is it just down another path that I didn't see? I guess there is this. I have a feeling it's gonna stick out somehow. I, 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 I'm in pain. What is my life? It's constantly missing these floating <laughs> sea urchins. <sighs> okay. Can we now find the flower? Please. Somewhere. In this maddening forest. Ah! Yes! Okay. 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 Calm down. Now I just need to get out of here. Oh, that was too close. Yeah, our, uh, our, uh, acquisition of experience has definitely dropped with the, uh, the recent level up. Oh. Yes, I'm a genius. Not really, but I, I say that and then immediately eat my own words. Run. I just don't want to deal with that right now. I want to heal. All right, let's go talk to the father and then we can turn in these quests. Probably check up on some potential upgrade gear just to be safe and then we'll do the next big question. Well, if it isn't a still, you seem to be in a cheerful mood as usual. <laughs> Here you are. These are for you, Father Divine. Hand it over, Bearclaw. Hand it over, Savory Pin uh, Pinion. This is the bear claw and the savory uh, pinion you were looking for. Please use them as medical ingredients. You requested these at the guild, right? That's right. I did put in a request. I'm just surprised that you went all the trouble to do this for me. Weren't you hurrying to gather these? Weren't you hurt trying to gather these? Nope, we're totally fine. I mean, we were fine. Well, maybe minus the totally part. <laughs> I'm worried about your attitude, Estelle. Eh, why? There's nothing to be worried about. I know I've told you this before. It's certainly a joyous occasion when everything goes well. However, it is these times when we should gird up our loins for the trials that lie ahead. Okay, I'll be more careful from now on. Hmm, since I seem to have a bit of spare time, how about I take this opportunity to give you a special sermon? No, anything but that. I'm sorry, Father, but we've really got to get going. You still got work left to do, right, Joshua? Why do you have to bring me into this? Please excuse us, Father, but we have to get back to the guild. That's too bad. However, since it has to do with your job, I must respect your position. Thank you for all your hard work, Estelle. Joshua, I pray the goddess will always be with you. Medical necessities complete. Sweet. Alright, report. The medical necessities. Okay. Lost kitten. And Elias Highway Monster. Eighth class still. Good work. Seems you completed your objectives without any trouble. If you finished any other jobs, please come back and report again. Let's see if there's any new ones. Nope, we're all good. So now we just have the main one. We gotta go to the hotel and talk to the dude there. And we might be getting close to ending for today. Depends on how I'm feeling, but like, we've definitely done a lot. Uh, talk. Verne, I was wondering if I could ask you something. Is it true that people from the magazine company are staying here? Well, you certainly are right about that. Did you have some business with them? Actually, we're here representing the guild to cooperate with them on getting a story. Really? Is that so? Then I regret to inform you that both of them are out at the moment. 
Oh, well, you know where they went. The reporter fellow said something about heading over to the bar. How about you try there? The bar? Got it, thanks. We appreciate the help. We already ran into them, I'm guessing. I think the guy is in the bar and the girl is the in the ornament shop. They were the ones with like the caricature heads that we were able to observe. Huh, who are you kids supposed to be? Are you perhaps the reporter from the Liberal News? That's right, but how do you know that? I like getting the scoop on things, but I hate it when people try and pry in my life. What business do you have with me? We're here representing the Bracer Guild. We were told you had a request a, uh, requested an escort. Oh, so you finally come, huh, have you? I've been waiting forever for you guys to show up. So, uh, where's Cassius Bright? Uh, well, the thing is, he had another job come up. So he's not even in Roland. What? I came all the way here so I could get a story of this famous Bracer. Crap, what a waste this trip turned out to be. I don't get what you're being so disappointed about, but there's no need to get your boxers in a bunch. We've got you covered. I guess I don't have much choice. You'll have to do. <sighs> Wait, what did you just say? Don't you get your boxers in a bunch? No, the we've got you covered part. What do you mean by that? It's just like Joshua said. We're, 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 here, we're your representative bracers. Oh, and here's our referral. Hand it over Guild referral. Hey, it's got to be some kind of bad joke. Are you trying to tell me that little brats are bracers? Brats? I'll tell you how you're supposed to dress a lady. Is that how you're supposed to dress a lady? What do you mean, lady? There's nothing sexy about you in that outfit. I disagree wholeheartedly on every point, good unshaven man, sir. If you don't like my assessment, then how about shipping, uh, slipping into a skirt and acting like all the other girls your age? That's clothing is specifically designed for those who wear the staff, and this looks like a skirt too. Are you blind? You're such a rude old man. Who are you calling old man? I'm still in my 20s, dang it! Getting back to business, sir. The fact that we were dispatched by the guild. I'd be more than happy to introduce you to someone else, but I don't know when they'll be free. Ugh, can't extend the deadline any longer. Because I've got no alternative. Alright, rejoice, you kids. I'm gonna leave this up to you. What a generous old man you are. How much you want to bet he's going to want to go into the forest and go fight a big, big tree that I was just at? Easy, Estelle. I'm Joshua. This here's Estelle. All right, and you are? I'm Neil Burns, ace reporter for Liberal News. Though we won't be working long together, hope you'll do a good job. Huh, I'll be grateful when this is all over, too. By the way, where is it, where is it exactly that you want us to guide you to? The way I see it, you need a trusty guide because you're heading somewhere dangerous, right? Right, my destination is the Emerald's Tower. I'm sure you've heard it before. Yeah, that. Uh... Ha, huh, that's it? Not only have we heard of it, but we were there on a job not long ago. Well, that may just work out after all. So what I really want you to do is guide us to the tower roof. I want to get a picture for the magazine. Well, aren't you a thrill seeker? By us, do you mean someone else is coming along too? Yeah, got my camera woman with me. She said something about her orbital camera not working right, so she took off to the orbital factory. But she should have been back by now. You're in a hurry. It wouldn't be good. Wouldn't it be a good idea to head over there now? No doubt you're going to take off. We're we're no doubt you're going to take off and get your story once you meet up with your partner, right? Yeah, that's true. All right then, let's head straight to the tower once we pick up my partner from the orbital factory. Now, how much you want to bet? This means that all combats are going to be like protecting the two civilians. Ugh, that sounds horrible. Wait, anything but that? I'll do anything you ask, just please give me back my camera. It's worth more than my life. Now this is a problem. What should I do about this, Dad? You're the one who took the job, so you're the one who has to deal with it. Huh, what's all the fuss about? Could this person be... That's her, all right. Hey, Dorothy, how long are we going to keep them wait? How long are you going to keep me waiting? N Neil, you came at just the right time. Please help me out here. What'd you do this time? You didn't waste all your money, so now you don't have enough to repair it, did you? That's amazing. How did you guess? Aren't you like clairvoyance or something? When do you when you do the same thing that many times, even an idiot would know what's going on. Do you know this person? I'm sorry to ask, but can you... Can I ask you to pay for the repair cost? Fine, but I'll need you to write it off as a business expense. 
How much? Let's see. The decorative clock and the repairs together are 2,000 Mira. Uh, hold on! I can understand the repairs, but what's the deal with the decorative clock? Well, I was looking around the store while he was doing repairs, and I saw the pretty clock and wanted to pick it up. It broke. But I'm glad we can write it off as a business expense. How wonderful is that? That kind of amount is not going to be covered. Crap. Looks like I'm going to have to pay out of my pocket and get the money back later. Here's your 2,000 Mira. And this is your receipt. This is an unbelievably awkward combination I've ever seen one. No doubt about that. But the fact that he'll pay out of his pocket for something means he's probably pretty nice to work under. Sorry to keep you waiting, kids. I had to take care of a little trouble. Who are these kids, Nia? Yeah, the Bracers will be acting as our escorts and guides. They'll be taking the place of Cassius Bright, whom we'd originally made arrangements. These young kids are... I'm Estelle. Nice to meet ya. And I'm Joshua. So it's Estelle and Joshua. It's good that... It's... Is it? You may be young, but you seem reliable. I'm Dorothy Yat. I'm the new camera woman for the Liberal News. At the moment, I'm training under Neil. Why, oh, I think it suck if you say the block out of a girl. A dang editor-in-chief. Relax, relax. Something good will come out of all this soon enough. Are you one... And you're one to talk. <sighs> Never mind. Just forget it. Now that we've got everyone together, how about we go get our story? Our destination is the, uh, MLS Tower, right? Alright, let's go. Right on. Okay. Here we are. How many floors do you think this place has? Wow, this tower is really tall. I wonder how many floors it has. Thank you for asking my question. Last time we were here, we only made it as far as the second floor. But judging from the scale, I'd probably say it has about five or six. That should be five. At least that's what it said in the book at home. It was investigated some time ago, but it looks like it was abandoned after that. That reminds me. It seems like there are a number of other towers like this in Liberal. That's correct. There are towers similar to this one in Bows, Runa, and, and ZS regions. They all seem to have been built around the time that the Liberal Kingdom was founded. Is that so? I'm starting to feel history already. Feel the history already. My job's to uncover the truth about them. Dorothy, give me a few long angle shots of this place. Sure. Here we go. Amazing. A photographer's personality is supposed to change by taking the camera in their hands like that? She certainly looks like a pro. <laughs> See, how? How? How do you do that? There's no. How? hurt, Neil. This happens every time with you when you try to take a picture like that. But try and act professional. Just give me, a take, give me a shot using your usual style. I guess I should try and tone down my style just for good, just to look good. Well, I guess I'll have to do it my own way. Oh, looking good. Looking good. <laughs> now that's what I call sexy and cute. Oh, dear. Here we go. Say cheese. I don't get it. Why does she say that to, when she's ta talking to pink photos of a person? Somehow it just seems natural for her. She says that's, that's, that she can see every expression of the scenery, whatever that's supposed to mean. And believe it or not, she takes some pretty breathtaking pictures, acting all ridiculous like that. Guess it could be considered a type of genius. That kind that borderlines on insane, though. Well, people should never star what they seem. Okay, I'm done here. All right, let's get inside. We're heading to the roof. I'm counting on you two greenhorns. Just leave it to us. We won't let any monster lay a single paw on you. Please make sure to keep close behind us. All right. So we got to this floor. Let's see what you've got for us, mister. Okay. Let's see. Coral shell. Uh, elemental efficacy. Does that mean it resists fire? 
but it's weak to like earth and water. I'm guessing that's what efficacy means. Uh, monster carapace, uh, gregarious marine monster of old ruins, fairly harmless, but dangerous in groups. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's not too tough. So. Yeah, that definitely doesn't really cause me much worry. Monster appeared. Cool. Cool. Oh, boy. Can I take them on? Monster lurking in treasure chests explodes when defeated. Kill from afar. Nice. That's gonna be great. Don't kill it. Okay, they've got high resistance. Yeah, I don't need to worry about that. That wasn't the worst. <laughs> that might be, though. Jeez. Thank you for not targeting civilians. I'm glad he can heal. Good, that was a good one. Still gotta use some arts to get rid of that thing. How is it gonna use arts? And critical. Booyah. All right. All right. We're Speaking of chests, I should go take out that chest on the road that kicked my butt last time. Found tin staff. Ooh, oh, okay. Oh, and chest, of course. Apparently someone already looted the chest. Now who could that be? Yes, 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 okay. But if I just got a staff. Oh yeah, tin staff, absolutely. That's a solid upgrade. Chest. Found tear bomb. The chest mocks you with its emptiness. Well, joke's on you, because I emptied it, so the joke's on me. No, it's not on me, it's on you. So, yeah. Oh, bet there's another gold one over there. Dang, this place is full of treasure. Because I have a feeling we might get attacked again. And knit knitted shoes, okay. Guess not, lucky me. All right, so defense and movement up. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. I, I want to give that to her so she can get her movement up. Dang it, again. Our party's too big chained. If that makes sense. Well, there's a tree in there. That's cool. Hey, here we are. Whoa, look at that. That machine looks interesting. Wow, it's bright up here. Looks like we finally made it to the rooftop. Boys, you look at this beautiful scenery. Now, this is something else. Looks like we'll be able to get a better shot than I originally anticipated. And that's the thing I was telling you about earlier. Interesting. 
that supposed to be exactly? It looks like a giant orb mid operation ca uh, called you, if you ask me. According to my sources, it's some sort of ancient device. Although nobody seems to know what exactly it's used for. Hmm. Hey, Joshua, you know something like this was up here? Joshua? It's no use hiding. I think it would be wise to come out where you where we can see you. Huh? Please don't hurt me. I'll come out already. I'm coming out right now. What the fetch? Who's this guy? So somebody arrived before we did, huh? What what a surprise that was. Nice find, Joshua. And you are? I apologize. Please forgive me. I'll give you every last mirror I have. Please spare my life. Look here, buddy. We didn't. Don't, please don't mistake us for robbers or something weird. You do recognize this emblem, don't you? Estelle showed him, showed the man her guild emblem. Wait, is that the bracer guild? So you're trying to tell me your bracers? In the flesh. I'm Estelle. This is Joshua. And we're here as reporters from the Liberal News. We're having these two provide our escort so we can get coverage on the tower. I'm relieved to hear that. Please, just don't scare me like that again. The fact you came up here like that made me suspicious of you all. Look who's talking. You seem like quite the suspicious fellow yourself. Do you mind telling us who you are exactly? I apologize for my belated introduction. My name is Alba, and I am an archaeologist. I came to investigate the tower in order to further my research of ancient civilizations. All alone? I'm surprised you made it here in one piece. Ha ha ha. what? But actually, I've grown quite accustomed to investigating ruins like this. You see, I've got a lot of confidence in my abilities to flee from monsters if need be. Although this time I found myself in a bit of a pickle. You're one crazy scholar if you ask me. However, being, however, being an archaeologist would mean you're familiar with the tower's origin, right? Well, more than an average person anyway. But since I only just begun my investigation, these are still just a lot of things that, there's still a lot of things I just don't know myself. That's fine, but there's anything interesting you could tell us about this place. It'll be useful for the article. Let's see. Has everyone heard of the Septer- uh, uh, Terrians before? I think Father Divine maybe said something about that before. You mean the seven treasured and treasures endowed with power and bestowed upon the ancients of, uh, by Aldios, right? That's exactly what I'm referring to. It seems these ancient ru ancients ruled this earth, seas, skies using powers of these treasures. It has also been written that they were even able to unlock the secrets of time and life. Approximately 12,000 years ago, when this ancient civilization was destroyed by a mysterious calamity, these sept Tyrians uh, were also lost. That's the legend also recorded with the scriptures of the Septum Church. But what does that have to do with this tower? A part of the legend states that one of these Septum uh, Septarians slumbers somewhere beneath Liberal. His name? The Uriel. Uh, I don't want to say uh, something wrong. It's like, Ariel. Ariel. The Ariel. That word certainly has a strange ring to it. The legend is really true. I figured I might be able to find some clues about here at the tower, since it's one of the oldest ruins of all liberal. So I came out to investigate. Oh, what an inspiring story. I it is, isn't it? You can feel my passion for things of antiquity, right? This is splendid! I am overjoyed that there is someone else who understands the way I feel. So, did you find any of those clues you were looking for? I'm still working on that part. But if I can figure out how this device works, I might be onto something. I think it's an interesting story, but as it stands, it's a speculative one. From what you've told me, I'm sorry to say, it wouldn't fly as an article. I see. That's extremely disappointing to hear. I'm surprised myself. Contrary to expectations, you are serious about the ar articles you write. That's because I write articles based on uncertain news sources. We may run an occasional gossip column, but it's policy of the liberal news to verify information. That aside, we get what we came here for, shall we? Dorothy, I want you to get several uh, panorama shots of the Rolex region. Everything else, I'll leave up to your aesthetic touch. Now get out there. Give me some good pictures. Understood. You appreciate uh, your apprentice, Do Dorothy Yacht, and ready for action. As for you, Mr. Archaeologist, how about heading back to town with us when we're done here? These two kids might look like a couple brats, but they do a pretty good fine job as escorts. 
something about the way you said that makes me feel like it wasn't a compliment. If it's alright with you to have me along, then that's far more than I could ask for. Then I guess it's decided. So, how about we take a break until Dorothy finishes getting her shots? Look at that. I wonder if that giant septum jewel we found, if we put it in that, if something would happen. Yeah, it's pretty. Wow, the view's great from here. From this height, I can see all of Roland. Which scenery, which, with scenery this good, if someone turned this place to a tourist spot, they'd probably make a buttload of Mira. Yeah, you're probably right about that. Hmm. What's wrong? You look a little pale. I can't hide anything from you, can I? After we stepped onto the roof, I just started feeling a little woozy. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I think it'll, I think I'll be all right once I get a bit of fresh air. Joshua, we're in the definition of fresh air right now. Why don't you make the best of this opportunity to have a look around yourself? But broadening one's knowledge during a time like this is all part of being a bracer. If you come across anything of interest, you can tell me about it later, all right? Sometimes you can be such a smooth talker, you know that? All right, I'll look around. But if you start feeling any worse, you let me know, okay? Sure. All right, I think we're going to end that here for today because we've done a lot and we can explore the top of this tower next week. So thank you guys so much for being here today. Thank you so much for joining me for this wonderful adventure. I think I got a lot done. I think I've been able to like kind of sink my teeth into this now and I'm really showing some progress. I was able to get all the side quests done. I even explored the forest beyond what I probably should have been able to hit some good level ups and uh, explored this tower pretty thoroughly as well. So all in all, I consider this a very successful run. I'm very excited. And like I said, I've got some budding thoughts and theories about this tower and the device. So I'm excited to kind of like dive into it and get some hints. I still think a giant Sephith crystal will likely activate it. And guess like we talked about these ancients that controlled the sea, sky, time and whatever. It's like this sounds like this a greater understanding of the orbital technology that we developed, you know, like probably following in their footsteps, even if it's unknowingly. But I'm guessing that the people who first discovered all this and how it worked in like airships probably were inspired by old tech or old references that they found. Probably something that we're hoarding to ourselves as a nation since we got the best and kind of keeping a monopoly on, which could be a motivation for why the Empire would try and attack us, maybe to steal the secrets of our technology. We'll have to see that when we get to it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for being here again. I, it means the world to me. It really does. I say it so many times, but it's because it means a lot, especially thank you to my patrons who are, you know, believing so heartedly in the story. They help make it possible for me to be able to do this story, cover this type of stuff on my channel and ultimately grow the channel faster, better with art, and be able to support artists when I do that. It's really been a pleasure to be able to do this. So until the next video, watch me or see me in next. I'll see you there.